Welcome back to Just Ranching. Today we're going to learn how to tie a halter, true Burson, bur of Burson halters, start to finish. Please be patient with my camera angles. I'm doing the best as to what I think you, how you want to see it, right over the shoulder. You're going to have to slow it down, watch it two or three times, or just buy one of the halters on dalebrisby.com, along with one of these caps. Pow, pow. name? True. Uh, I make these halters. But uh, what do you do for a living, True? Uh, work for the Sixes there in Guthrie. Is that a gas station? No, it's a it's a ranch. Got a ranch job. But yeah. It's a bunch of cows. What do you owe oh, cows? It's not like goats or anything. We've got a few goats, but mainly cows. Yeah. Have you ever have you ever punched goats? One time. Let's get off of goats, back to cows. When you're punching cows, you need a horse, right? Yes, sir. Unless you're feeding, then you just need your feed buggy and cake. But I guess if you're gonna catch the horse, you need a halter. More than likely, unless you can ride him without one. And that's why you decided, you know what, I'm gonna start making these halters. Yes, sir. Well, I made me a board here. You can call it a jig, but each knot, I mean, it's easy. You can just go a halter that fits your horse good go get you a board and each knot this is nose band knot to nose band knot from the feodor to the nose band and you just this is just to help you measure how far apart your knots need to be I use 18 foot of halter cord here and that will fit the majority of horses if you got a horse with a really big head draft horse anything grande you might want to use 19 foot but uh Starting off, there's two ways to tie overhand knot. Is that right in the middle? Well, I was, I'm just showing you the overhand knot first. Okay, perfect. But you can see it comes through there and over the top of this side. And then the other way to tie it. It's the same knot. But this one comes under and goes over, and this one, it's just reversed, if you will. Yep. But you need to understand that to get these knots correct and for your halter to lay right. Understand the fact that there's two directions. Yes, sir. But you'll tie the nose band, half of the nose band knot first. And your first knot needs to be 74 inches from here to the knot. And I've got it figured out on my board. And once you tie a bunch, you'll, you can do that on your board and you won't have to get your tape measure out and measure it. And so that know, was like four and a half lengths of your board there. Yes, sir. Is what equals your, your 74 inches. Yes, sir. On your left side, from right... The tip of here to the middle of this knot should be 74 inches. Bingo. So then I tied that knot coming in and out through here. The second nose band knot. Needs to look like that. See how this one points away from me and this one points towards me. And then I just lay it up here and here, yeah. let me get on this other side. I'm going to get over your shoulder just to show. But just to get and get those dudes pretty tight. So you, when you tie it here in a minute, it'll be the correct measurement. This but is, this is the biggest key. If you don't get this right, it'll mess your whole halter up. This one points away from you, and this one's coming to you. Oh, I see. See what I mean? Yeah, the... And which one does it go to 74 inches? Your first knot. Your first knot on the left. And it points away from you. And then your and then how many inches is this? Well, I've never measured it. You've already uh, got them measured on your... Yes, sir. That's essentially the nose band, though. Yes. 
This and, and that knot comes toward back towards you. Yes, sir. And you'll come back and retie this, but this will just get you started. Gotcha. But I'd stay right there. After you get them two tied in your measurement, and you you know you don't need a board, you could have another halter here sitting here and just hold your nose band up however long you want your nose band on your other halter. That's it. But once you get them tied, turn it and put your long strand on your left, short one on your right. And this next knot is called the Fiodor, F-I-D-O-R. How do you know how far to go on that? Well, after you tie a bunch, you just kind of know, but get you a pretty good stretch out here, and this will be where your lead rope goes. But you'll measure it when you get done, and you can adjust it if it's wrong. But grab this, your nose band, come down, hold it with your thumb, and twist that side up. And here's your short one, here's your long one again. But reach through here and pull it through and over. Here's my long one. Come through here. And then suck it down. And this will get your feet or not. You know you're right if you got that square here. So you want all four of these strands. It's just like tying a rosebud. If you know how to tie a rosebud, this is the same deal. You need all four of these, one, two, three, four, to come through this middle. Well, this is connected, so you have to roll it around there and take this one out and put it right back through that same hole. And then you just work your way around. So this one's coming up through the middle of the square. Same deal here. Take your long strand out and put it through that same hole. So now you have your nose band through. And you know I went boom, boom. Just keep working your way around. There's an X here, if you can see that X, that's where you come up through, that X right there. Can you see that? Yes, sir. And then here's my next X. That'd be the fourth one through the middle of that square. But this knot's called a Fiodor. I'm sure there's a lot of places that somebody can learn to tie the Fiodor knot. But the key to tying these dudes is get, getting that knot tight. And you want those to come out even. Then I lay it on my board. And the more you tie, you'll get that right, but you'll get it to where this will be shorter and you'll have to lengthen it out. But it's easy. All you got to do is feed this back to it and it'll make that longer but you can kind of see now that's starting to look like a halter and it doesn't matter how make how big you make this just personal preference enough to get that lead rope through but make sure you got these two even like that and next you'll go to the throat latch and ever knot from now on is uh, the halter knot Every knot on a halter is the same except for the one we just tied, the Fedor. But I like to hold it in between my legs right there. And from, from this point on, tie your overhand knot with your long strand. See, here's my long one, and here's my short one. But lay it over, over here, and through. And then when I tie that one, 
it'll save you a lot of time. I like to set it up on my jig and get it the right length. Maybe it's just a scotch shorter because when you tighten it, it'll lengthen out. But when I first started out, I had a lot of trouble right here tying this halter knot. If you can see, this strand goes under and then over. So do the same thing with this one. You want them to look identical. You go through and you want these two coming out on top of this strand right here. This would be the incorrect way and it won't work. But see, they're on opposite sides. You want them on the same. Yes, sir. That'd be the incorrect way. But run it through there where it lays like that. And you want to bend it back towards the way it's going and hold it there and back through. Measure halter knot. And here's another thing that you need to understand tying these. This strand is connected to this one. And this one is connected to this one. So I got them even here. But if one of these was longer or shorter, you would need to push this one to make that one longer and vice versa. See, I got them a little. Well, that's about right right there. But once again, just get them as tight as you can. And I'm real big on keeping keeping it between your knees and it'll just make make the halter lay better. So there again I got my shorty. You won't use this till your last knot. Like I said before, just keep keep tying your knots with the long strand. Go over your strand here and through. And then lay it here again and get your measurement about right. A little shorter because when you suck it down it'll come tight. But however big you like your pole knot, you can do whatever, whatever you, your preference is. But this is the exact same knot as we tied here at the throat latch. Go back to where your strand came from. Strand comes down, point it back that way and hold it right there and keep Keep that hole and go through. And there you got your pole. See it's a little long. So I'll push that one in and it's caddy corner to what it's connected to. That's a little bigger than I like so I'm going to roll it on around make it a little smaller and now you'll finish tying your noseband knots and a lot of people mess up on this knot just because it's laying a little funnier but come from the inside out so it's matched up so like I said before, the key to this knot is putting it in and making sure both strands come out on top of this strand. That would be the incorrect way going in right there because this one's coming through the bottom, this one's going over the top. So always check yourself when you first do it so it'll work correctly. But you can look at it right there. These two coming out on top and these two are on bottom. Same halter knot. Strand's coming this way, so go back towards it and over and through your hole.
But be sure and measure your pole to nose band and your nose band to Fedor because it'll move on you. See, that's too long after I tied that knot, so shorten your Fedor to your nose band knot up. Now you go to the next nose band. And always make them knots a little bigger so it'll be easier to tie. As much as you need to widen it up. But there again, same knot. I'm going back to where the strand came from and around. And through. Is, is the only name for that knot a halter knot? Yes, sir. As far as I know. What what's the what's what's the Matthew Walker knot? The Matthew Walker? Is that in that the or is that the Matthew Walker knot? I think it is. I think does come that one time. I'll have to ask him. That's the one he'll tie like if he were like putting a piece of leather on the end of a pocket knife or something. Yes. Same. Yeah. Yeah. I think he told me that was it's a Matthew Walker. Matthew Walker. But to make sure your nose bands are correct, grab it by the top, and they're even there. And then you want those strands even. And sometimes they'll look uneven if you hold it there, but you want them even like it would set on a horse. And this is your last knot here. But go over, over this strand, and back through. And then there again, both of them come out on top on this side and bottom on that side. But I like to measure both of them again, so it'll just kind of speed you up. And then, see my pole knots are a little off, so shorten that dude up. They're even there. And then you want to line your nose bands up to get this length correct from nose band to pole. See, we need a little, but sometimes if you just suck her down, they'll get get even. Them are good. Them are good. And then whatever you want to do on the end here, I get I get shrink wrap and cut them off and heat it up with your lighter, but that shrink wrap works real good. Or you can tie tie a knot in the end. Or whatever you want to do, but now you got a halter. How long does it usually take you to make one? I can get one tied in about 10 minutes if I'm looking, not talking. Yeah. And basically these little these little holes or dots that you've drawn on there, those are just uh, just reference points and which yes, one's which again? These two are nose band to nose band. This one is Fedor to nose band. It kind of goes as you tie them. You'll tie your nose band first, Fedor to nose band, Fedor to throat latch, and then you go from your throat latch to your first pole knot, and then your pole to your nose band. And this just helps it go faster. Yes, sir. What happened to the corner? Ah. Uh, I just found this board and I kind of liked it, so I used it. Yeah. A sharp, not a bit. I can't remember. 
How many halters have you tied? Just one so far. That's your first one. Total? Yeah. I got it right down, but I bet four or five hundred. Forty five hundred. Um, so what if people don't want to buy a halt, don't want to make their own halter, where can they get one? Uh, Jibo sells them, but if you don't have a Jibo, <laughs> near, you can get them from Burson Halters. Dale, yeah. Me and my wife got a little business, and we make them and sell them. Uh, DaleBrisby.com, the caps too. Holler at us. If you don't need a halter, get the cap. Help out.